Hello everyone and welcome to a quick little stationer's tutorial about how to alter your yield rates for ores without the use of mines. This is something I brought up in the last episode of the Getting Started series for stationers, and there was an interest expressed in it, so here we are. I'm going to try and keep this fairly succinct, hopefully around the 5 minute mark, but definitely under the 10 minute mark. So, without any further ado, let's get into this. To start, you're going to want your Steam booted up, navigate to your library, and your Stationers game. Go ahead and right click your game over on the left hand side here, and you can either do Manage, Browse Local Files, or you can do Properties, Install Files, and Browse. Both of these are going to take you to the exact same spot, so doesn't matter which one you use. Pick one and go with it. Once you're here, there are two files we'll want to look at. Technically one, but the other one has an override for mineable data, so you're going to want to edit it as well, depending on the planet you plan on playing on. Now, you can either use the search bar, or you can just navigate to these folders, well, to these two files, they're in the exact same folder, so we're just going to go to the navigate route. But the files you're going to want to edit are mineables.xml, or just mineables, and a world settings file. But here's how to navigate to them. Start by going to Rockstation Data, go to Streaming Assets, Data, and then the two files you want are in here. The first one of those being Mineables. This is the main file you'll want to edit when you're doing things like this. The other one is the one that has the overrides, and we'll go over that in just a moment. But to start with, once you open this up, you're bombarded with the plethora of information here. Uh, I am using a notepad application, just the standard notepad application Windows comes with. To do this editing, you can use Notepad++ or a web-based editor that, you know, it gives you all the little highlighted colors and things so you know which line you're sort of looking at and whatnot. It looks better, but it ultimately does the same effect. Now, when you go through here, you'll notice I've tried to record this episode once before. I forget to unmute my mic, but so my files are a little bit edited here already. But when you go through and look at it, it looks exactly like this with the exception of I've already edited my maximum drop quantity and minimum drop quantity for all of the ores I wanted to touch. Now, when this started out, this was a six and this was a three. All I went through was change things from by either using a two times or a three times. So I either multiplied the amount by two or by three. In this case, I did it by three for iron. And if you're ever curious which one you're editing, just look up a couple lines. It tells you which ore you're on. You're going to want to do all the ones. Well, you didn't want to do the ones you want to do. Just go through them. Iron, ice. Ice, I only did two. It's you. It's fairly high. It's a 10 and a 5. Um, and yielding 30 met as a maximum drop on ice is a lot. Now, you can also max these out. And what I mean by maxing these out is every ore will stack up to 50 without the assistance of mods in Stationer. So if you want a full stack of things, every time you mine one little node of ore, set your maximum and minimum quantities to 50. And you'll get your maximum yield rate of that 50 ore. And you can just scroll down and go through all of them. There are two types in here. There's regular mineable data. As all of these, you can go down, you'll edit them, set what you want. Don't worry about attempts. Um, none of that minimum, maximum attempts. Don't worry about it. It just changes how quickly you're mining through things. Uh, you can, well, not how quickly, because mine time is up here. And that tells you how quickly you're mining through it, how much time it's going to take you to actually you know, pop that thing out. Like here's gold. Gold takes a long time to mine. It has a mine time of five. Each different drill affects your mine rate differently, but I usually just leave those alone. But the other yield type or ore type I was talking about, or rather ore type, the other mineable type, we're looking at mineable data right now. As you go down, you'll eventually hit deep mineables. This is for deep mineable ore in game. I don't touch these. There's not really a huge reason to, because once you get to that point, well, you're already usually swimming in resources. 
And it's a fairly passive method anyway, so yeah, who cares how much it's yielding? If you ever need a boost, just go out and manually mine. But that's all for this file. All you're going to do is hit file and save. And that will be it. It will affect all of your currently existing games. No need to start a new game to get the new or yield rates. You can just continue on with your current saves. Now the other setting is the very bottom one called world settings. Open it up and there will be a bunch more information in here. What you're going to look for is you're just going to scroll down, 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 down. And eventually you'll come across the worlds. So Mars is first up. We're going to ignore it for the most part because as you scroll down, you're not going to see what we want. And I'll show you here in just a second as we go down, down, down. There's none of these things. None of these things should be touched. Don't worry about it. It's just a bunch of visual settings. Europa, we're also not going to touch that. But the next one down here after Europa is Mimas. Now Mimas, Vulcan, and Venus, I do believe, are the only three that have this in here when you're looking at world settings. As you scroll down, you will notice there's something in here that wasn't in the others, and that's a mineables override. This supersedes the mineables folder. You can either A, delete this data, which doesn't really sit right with me. I don't know why it just doesn't itch that part of my brain correctly. So I usually just edit these datas. So it's exactly like the mineables file. Here's iron. Just go ahead and change by a two or three X. You can see it's all defaults right now with a six and three on iron. It's all default. On the rest of these, I didn't change these because I'm not playing on one of those three worlds currently. So it doesn't really affect me too much. But that is it. Once you're done, once you've gone through here and changed these, set their uh, mineable quantities to whatever you want. Again, file, save, and close. And it will affect all current saves as well. So again, no need to have to start up a new game. And that is it. Hopefully I've kept this around the five minute mark, uh, but definitely it is below the 10 minute mark. And I have nothing more. Hopefully it was useful to someone. Hopefully I doubt there was much enjoyment to be had with it. So hopefully it was useful to you all. And remember, until the next one, to stay safe out there.